Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jess and this is my friend Zach and we are on a trip to Scotland. In the very first episode, we tried whiskey for the first time and we tried haggis for the first time. Both interesting experiences and we then spent the rest of the video exploring the city. We saw Arthur's Seat, we went along the Royal Mile and found lots of Harry Potter shops. We saw Edinburgh Castle and saw Edinburgh from up high. The views are amazing and you join us back for vlog number two in Edinburgh. Enjoy! Morning! We had a nice lion. I'm just gonna put my shoe on. <laughs> I can't do it. And we're heading out for brunch again, aren't we? Lovely. And then a plan for the rest of the day is we've got the Harry Potter walking tour this afternoon, which I'm really excited about. And then we're gonna play some golf, hopefully, and have dinner tonight. And then we're packing and cleaning up tonight, ready to go to Inverness tomorrow. The brunch was lovely. We're now heading back into the town. City. City. And just taking it easy before a Harry Potter tour. I'm so excited for Harry Potter. Are you? No. No, okay, just me then. Across the elephant house. Should we get a drink? Yeah, let's do it. Yeah, Harry Potter. We always just Waiting to start our tour. Follow the yellow umbrellas. So excited! All right, but squeezing off the road, you will die. <laughs> so come into the gutter, peasant. You're right at home. I have a dark secret for us all. Harry Potter was not filmed in the city of Edinburgh. That's there's actually an even worse secret to shatter your dreams. Harry Potter was not born in Edinburgh. That's right. Harry Potter did not get its start in this city. J.K. Rowling isn't even from here. Harry Potter was born somewhere far more magical than this 3,000-year-old city that has no fewer than 17 Starbucks. Harry Potter was actually born on a four-hour delayed train between the magical cities of London, drumroll, Manchester. Hundred years ago, by the Great British North Railway Company. Hundred years ago, it was perfectly acceptable and politically correct to refer to Scotland as North Britain. Do not do that today, or you will die. <laughs> she didn't see her family for six months. That's insane. No, I didn't say that. She used that hotel as an office. It's not a prison. There's a that building over there is where Harry Potter the books were finished. And when she they finished that book after they made it slightly harry potter themed and they started charging a thousand pounds a night to stay there the door opens to the jk rowling suite and quickly you discover it is in fact a regular hotel room <laughs> Five minutes fast. Yeah, or it's roughly five minutes, more like three or four. Close. Okay. Uh, half. Okay. <laughs> yeah, basically, it is fast. You're exactly right. What house are you in? Slytherin. 20 points to Slytherin. That's right. It's going to be a real Hufflepuff Slytherin duel today. <laughs> basically, guys, this is about three or four minutes fast. Now, we're here on a Harry Potter tour. This is not a shopping or a culture tour. This is Harry Potter. We are in the gutter. So, why are we talking about such beautiful and lovely things? Well, it's simple. It's because this street claims to be the real, real diagonal. Now, why? Here's your first question. Which American actor slash comedian asked for an unpaid role in Harry Potter and did not get it? Uh... Nope, nope, nope. Ah, no. No, he, he chose to do Home Alone 2 instead. 
and it worked out, you know? That launched him into the presidency, that movie. Any other guess? Some discussion. Yeah. I have seen couples split up over this debate. American. <laughs> the answer is, are we ready? Robin Williams. Yep. They said, no, no, thank you. In fact, it was not five or six, but seven publishers who rejected Harry Potter until finally she sent it to her eighth publisher, Bloomsbury. And they said, yes, maybe, oh. maybe. Did not get the inspiration for most of her characters from a random graveyard in the middle of Scotland. She actually got them from many different sources. Look at Sirius Black. Sirius gets his name from a star. The Sirius constellation is the dog constellation. Uh, that's why he's called that. He's named after the dog star, not a random wonderful person who once upon a time lived in Edinburgh. There's so many like that. Honestly, you could go on for days. Severus Snape gets his name from an ancient Roman emperor. And the bet, this is my personal, I say favorite, but just because it's the historically weirdest one. Do you guys know who founded Hogwarts? Who are the four founders of Hogwarts? Anyone know? Slytherin, Gryffindor, yeah. Hufflepuff. What, what's Rio Slytherin's from? first name? Salazar. Salazar. You know who he's named after? The dictator of Portugal. <laughs> For much of the 20th Thomas Fidel is the real name of the main villain in the Harry Potter books and films, Professor Umbridge. No, but Lord Voldemort. <laughs> this is where Voldemort is alleged to get his name. Now, Jacob Rowling admits she cannot fully remember where she got the name from. She did used to come for walks here with her daughter, because this is where you bring a baby. And as she was walking through the cemetery, she says, yeah, I got names from graves and saints and people I knew and random things like that. But was this grave the inspiration? It's actually a bit of a mystery. At the opening ceremony, Britain decided, as a way of showing the world what Britain was about, to have a random part of that ceremony of Mary Poppins, about 100 of them, fighting a giant inflatable Lord Voldemort. <laughs> now, if you don't remember that, I swear to God it's true, go into YouTube and see what British taxpayers paid for. Mary <laughs> There once was a cow upon a hill. It is not there anymore, for it has went away. <laughs> Thank you. Now, because there are so many, there is a plethora, there is a whole room of requirements worth of stuff in Edinburgh related to Harry Potter that you can do, and most of it you didn't sign, which is not good for today, but trust me, it will rain tomorrow. <laughs> Guys, genuinely, there's so much I could go on about. So, for example, we have Harry Potter themed mini golf. There's a Harry Potter themed cocktail bar called The Cauldron. Now, and the best thing is, they force you to wear robes. And I'm talking to an animal with a wand. <laughs> <laughs> Stopped off for lunch at a place called Scram, and I've got a mac and cheese wrap. How mad One last view of the city. It's a good one. All these people. So we're back at the apartment and just chilling now. We had um a real good time on the walking tour, it was really, really fun. The guide was amazing, as you can probably see. Grab some lunch, and then we were going to do the Wizard Golf, but apparently it's shut until September, so that's a shame. So we walked down to the gallery, which was also shut, and just chilled at Princess Gardens, which you will have seen. And yeah, now we're back here. We're just trying to figure out what to do. It's our last night here in Edinburgh, so who knows? But we're feeling pretty tired, and we've also got an early morning train to Inverness, so. I'll keep updated on what we do. Explain what we're seeing here. Um, we're at the top of Castle Hill at sunset. Golden hour. Hello. <laughs>
Dimitri very well. Ending the night with a martini, some gin, and we're going to get some dirty wings. <laughs> <laughs> look, at, look at how sophisticated we got. 12 wings, please. <laughs> mm. You don't have to call it, so you just throw up. It's really weird, but basically, this guy's not. Hey guys, so we are back at our Airbnb after a real chill night. So obviously we climbed up to Colin Hill and saw sunset and then just had a few drinks and some like wings. And that's our time in Edinburgh done. We've had the best few days, um, loved it all. Real good memories and it's just been fab. But we are going to sleep now because we've got quite an early start and we're heading up to Inverness tomorrow uh, for the start of our North Coast 500 road trip. So please watch out for those next vlogs. And just a big thank you for anyone that has watched this. If you can like, comment and subscribe, that would be great. And press the little bell icon and you'll see future videos that I post in Scotland. And I think that's it from me. Bye! <laughs>